Do you own an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max? One of the best feature of the 15 Pro phones is the ability to record videos in ProRes Log. But what is ProRes Log? If you are a vlogger, content creator or YouTuber, ProRes Log can take your videos to the next level. In this video, we'll walk through everything. Right setting for ProRes Log, how to record videos in ProRes Log and how to edit and process them for amazing looking videos. So let's get started. First, what is ProRes Log? This is important to know, so please bear with me. There are two things to understand here, ProRes and Log. Let's talk about ProRes first. ProRes is a video codec or in simpler terms, how a video file is stored while recording. To keep the file size small, the video frames get compressed and stored for a simpler storage. There is an issue with this. If you are compressing to store this video, your computer will need to uncompress it before editing or color grading. This is very difficult on your system. ProRes is a codec developed by Apple with minimal compression and for maximum flexibility. So now if you edit the ProRes video on your computer, it will be easy on your computer to make any changes. The downside is the ProRes files are pretty large when compared to the same duration video stored in other codecs. ProRes is a video codec designed for easy editing of your video files. Understood that, right? But what is log? Your camera has a sensor which captures all the information. The video captured by the camera is not exactly what you see finally. It will be flat, desaturated and not so pleasing. The manufacturers add contrast, saturation, sharpness and brightness to give you that look. But once it's all added, it's really hard to edit it even more. Log format captures the raw look which you can add saturation, color, contrast etc. in the way you like it. Since you're starting with a clean slate, you get a lot of flexibility while editing and color grading, more dynamic ranges, more colors, more styles. So ProRes Log, capturing and storing the desaturated high information log frames in ProRes codec so that your computer can easily color grade and edit them. Any content creator's wish is to get that cinematic filmy look, isn't it? ProRes Log will help you achieve that easily. Almost every new movie is captured in ProRes Log format. Not many cameras in the world can capture videos in ProRes or even Log. The iPhone being able to capture them in ProRes Log is just incredible engineering because it takes a lot of processing power to capture and store high detailed frames so quickly into a file. Okay, now you know what ProRes Log is and how it's useful for content creators and movie makers. Now let's see how to capture ProRes Log videos on your iPhone. First, you need to enable them in the settings. It's not available by default. Go to settings, scroll down to camera settings, formats, scroll down and enable Apple ProRes. Now select ProRes encoding and select log. All the settings are good now. Now, when you go to your camera settings and go to video mode, you can see an option to enable ProRes log at the top left. Enable it. You can see now that your screen has become dull and flat. This is the raw desaturated log information coming from your system. Don't worry, it still has all the information to make an amazing cinematic video. Now you can record in ProRes log as usual. Okay, that's just half the story. When you enable ProRes log in the camera app, did you see the max time popping up? Just 14 minutes? That's how big ProRes log video can be. For example, here is a 5 second video clip recorded in high efficiency default format. It took 18 MB space. The same 5 second video clip recorded in ProRes log, it took a whopping 550 MB. That's 30 times more storage. To shoot even a YouTube video, you will need more than 14 minutes worth of storage, right? How are we going to use it then? That's why Apple has given an option to record those videos externally to an SSD. If you want to meaningfully use that ProRes log feature, you will need an external SSD as well. This is even at 30 frames per second. If you want a slow-mo 60 frames per second, the iPhone won't even allow you to record unless an external SSD is attached. I've got this 1TB SanDisk SSD here, which I am going to attached through USB-C cable. Now, if I see the max time, it's a decent 140 minutes or so. Another thing to note here is you cannot use any USB thumb drive or an SD card to record. They are pretty slow devices which cannot keep up with the right speed of iPhone. So you will need a decent SSD and a good USB-C data cable to record in ProRes log. I know it's a lot of effort, but for the output, it could really be worth it for you. But this is definitely not for casual daily video recording. Okay, now, 
you got a fast SSD, recorded your content in ProRes log, now what? If you look at the video you just took, it looks so washed out, dull and bad. How do you get the cinematic look? First, you need to convert this log format to Rec. 709. Rec. 709 is the format with regular contrast, saturation, sharpness. There are a few ways to do this. First, directly on your iPhone using the inbuilt editing app. Tap edit. Now you see adjustment options. You just need to bring back that contrast, saturation, sharpness and brightness. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Increasing the highlights, reducing the shadows, decreasing the black point, increasing the saturation, adding some sharpness. That's it. Now the video looks like a regular video. The good part here is you added contrast, saturation, sharpness in the amount you prefer. iPhone footage is usually high contrast, high saturation, high sharpness image which immediately feels like a phone video. No cinematic footage has this level of contrast and sharpness. Now you get to add them as per your liking. For a small video, this method is okay but if you want a proper control, you will need to grade this footage on your computer. You will need a proper editor to make this conversion like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro or CapCut. Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro are paid apps. But since Final Cut Pro is also an Apple software, if you import your ProRes log footage onto the Final Cut Pro, it will automatically convert the log footage to Rec. 709 automatically. Then you can color grade your video like usual after that. But I will show you a free way of doing this through CapCut. CapCut is a free video editing software. First, import your video onto CapCut. When you bring it to your timeline, it will look dull and desaturated. To bring this to normal looking video, let's do the same thing we did in the iPhone editor. Click on the video, go to the adjustment tab in the top right. Now let's add some contrast, brightness, saturation, black point and sharpness. There you go. With some simple tweaks and edits, your footage is looking great again. Now add more styles and colors on top of this to get that cinematic effect. Since the ProRes log video has a lot more dynamic range and information, the grading will be more flexible and natural looking. There is one more easy way to convert the footage from log to Rec. 709. Apple gives you a conversion LUT which has extra sharpness, saturation and colors. You can download it from their website. I will leave a link in the description below. And here in adjustments, instead of making the adjustment, click on LUT. Select the downloaded LUT from Apple and there you go. In CapCut, I feel the strength of LUT is pretty strong so I usually bring it down to like 60% or so. I then add my own adjustment on top of it. Here are some sample shots taken on the iPhone 15 Pro in ProRes Log, edited and graded by me. If you're a full-time content creator, short filmmaker or take professional videos for important events, the iPhone 15 camera just became a professional camera for all those needs. Even high and expensive mirrorless cameras cannot take videos in ProRes log. I once in a while post some getaway vlog style videos on this channel and all those videos were taken fully on iPhone 15 Pro in ProRes log. If you take any professional videos, give the ProRes log a shot and see how much more flexible and easy color grading is gonna be. It's a little bit more effort than shooting directly on the iPhone but it's totally worth it. Okay, I hope this video was useful. Subscribe and give it a like if you did. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anshina. Bye-bye.